Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we are building Bloomcrest. This is a Newcrest rebuild. This has been such a big project so far, you guys. We are all the way over to this lot here. And how we've been doing it is every lot increases in price and we are up there. We are at 1.5 mil, which we're gonna be building for today. That's gonna be our budget. This entire neighborhood over here will not have any lot under 1.5 million simoleons, which is is mind blowing. Like the overall price of this entire world is insane. So I'm gonna link the playlist down below. You guys can catch up on the lore. There's backstories between all of these builds. There's families incorporated into this. And it's been a wild ride. It's been really fun. I am looking to do this on another world in the future. So any suggestions, let me know. But let's get into the build today. So the build we're gonna be doing today is going to be owned by none other than Willow Vine. This baddie that I created, she's gonna be owning the big expensive properties in this world. So what we're going to be building today is a museum. I thought it would be really fun to add another community lot into this like world. And when you think of a lot of the big expensive items in The Sims 4, a lot of them are kind of weird. <laughs> There's going to be an overall theme for like every floor that we're going to be doing today, which I think is going to be kind of fun. We're going to be able to build like thinking outside of the box. But first we're going to get our shell. And this is actually going to be the first like three story building that we're going to be doing, which I actually didn't even realize all of the other ones that we've done so far have only been up to two floors and in, not including the basement obviously this one will also have a basement but in order to spend these simoleons we got to start expanding upwards especially on this lot that is something I've been struggling with this whole time I'm building a 1.5 million simoleon museum on this lot because it's only a 30 by 20 lot that way we can save some of the bigger lots for some of the houses I want to do big mansions over on that side and I also have have one more community lot that I want to build, but we'll get to that later. I am just so excited to see this thing when it's done, but okay, I think this is going to be like a base for my shell. I do plan on playing around with roofing a little bit. I want to bring in some new roofing techniques, so maybe I'll like bring this out a little bit and adjust my shell for like kind of what I'm picturing. I wanted to avoid this museum from looking too boxy because I feel like I've never built a museum in The Sims 4 and I feel like any of them that I have seen like in, in base game and everything, they do look like that. So honestly, if I can succeed in building something that doesn't look like a boxy EA build, I'll be content at this point. <laughs> so let's get a foundation. I'm gonna probably play around with this a little bit more before we commit to it, but let's go ahead and bring that in at least. I'm gonna start to add some fencing into balcony spaces that I think I wanna have. Like up here, I know I'm not gonna roof this, but here I'm gonna try a different roofing technique with this like area. I'm gonna grab a half gable roof piece. I'm going to rotate it and I just want it to be on this edge here. I'm going to bring it in and make sure there's nothing hanging over or anything like that. And I'm going to just adjust this so it's only on that tile. And then I'm going to raise it up using alt if I have to on my keyboard, just trying to make it meet that fence part there. And then I'm actually going to copy that and bring that over to this side and do the same thing. We're just going to pull it across and I'm going to do it one last time on the edge here. So only like these parts, I'm going to be leaving the diagonal pieces because I'm not gonna get into that. But what we can do now is I could go in with a fence and just kind of like add something there. It's looking a little weird because I have pieces hanging over there, but I could use a smaller fence. I can go in and add some like vines to hide that or something. But I think this would look really cool with a door of some kind in there, just like a tiny little terrace. I think Discover University could be a good option for this build. I've been using it quite a bit with windows and everything. So I'm gonna go in maybe with this, but we're gonna have to adjust that wall height. I actually think I want the wall heights to be pretty big for this entire thing. So I'm going to bring that up to about the medium one. This one is all the way up. We're going to adjust those roof pieces because now it looks a little bit different. I actually can't reach where I want it to be with that roof height. So I think what I'm going to have to do is go in with a trim eventually, which that's going to totally fit the vibe that I'm going for anyway. So that's okay there. I also think I want to try something similar for my roofing up top. So I'm going to grab the same fence and trace around this whole top floor. I do want to spend a good chunk on the exterior here, but because of my lot size, I mean, I'm already taking up a lot of this. There's going to be landscaping too. I'm hoping we get a decent amount, but anyway, we're going to go in with another roof piece. This time I'm going to use a, what is this called? A half hipped roof piece. We're going to do the same kind of thing here. I'm going to bring these roofing pieces, but this time I can kind of like bring it out a little bit more and actually reach the top. So I'm going to copy and paste that with the same angle that I've been using. I'm going to bring it over here on this side. I guess maybe like all the way 
way on the back here and also all the way along this side. So I'm just gonna bring that all the way along. Every roof piece has the same angle. This looks so weird right now, but bear with me. We're gonna do this. Let's get maybe the grid on just so I can easily attach my roofing onto that grid. I'm gonna turn this piece, bring it up to the angle there that I'm trying to go for. I'm gonna extend it over to meet that one. And because those two roofing pieces were the same angle, this is gonna match up just fine. The only thing I have to hide is that little piece there, but I bring that in and that looks good. I think because of that, it would look good to have like an overhang kind of right here. So I'm gonna bring my fence out. I can hold up my roofing with a column, which we're gonna go bougie. If it's gonna be owned by Willow Vine, the like boss of this whole place, it's gonna have to be bougie. So I want it to be held up by these really expensive columns. And while we're at it, we're gonna be copying and pasting these pretty much all over this build. But now that I have that angle there, I can repeat that exact same process over here and in the back. You can already see it coming together and I really haven't done much. I'm gonna be adding this trim here, this like big thick one from base game. Actually, I also needed it over here too. So let's add that same trim onto this part here just so that we can eliminate that roofing issue we had. And then up top, I actually can't even put that in there at the top. So we're gonna be going in with maybe a smaller one like this one. Same kind of idea, same style, but just a smaller trim. I can adjust my roofing now if I need to, to put it under there. Maybe lowering all of them by like one tick will do it. Okay, so in general, this is what my shell is looking like with the roofing and everything. Now we kind of have an idea of like where everything is gonna go. I do think I need something, like a little something on top because it's looking a little flat to me. I think I'm gonna go in and maybe add like chimneys, maybe even just like a half wall and then I can stick my chimneys in there. Okay, let's go in and get windows and doors. So I was working with Discovery University earlier with those doors. I would love to have this like really big one here that like high wall height. So let's use that one. It might get a little weird cause I have like balconies down here too. So maybe I could add like stairs there. It could also just act as like a breather. Like if you wanna go outside, read a book, I can put like benches on those balconies. I think we could also maybe have like a, a glass door. These are pretty pricey. And because of the gap in my roofing here, I think I'm gonna bring this across and build one more balcony. So I'm gonna just make a room up here and that can just be like an extra terrace. I think it would be really fun too if we did like a coffee shop up top or something, like some museums have that or like a, maybe even a class of some kind. Like I know sometimes museums will hold different like classes. You can go in and like learn something. So maybe we could do that. I actually just copied and pasted three different sets of stairs cause I'm gonna go in and use my railings and this is gonna actually like separate them. I feel like, I don't know, it looks like a library almost. We're gonna get some expensive flooring. I think we're gonna be using probably the marbled walk for a lot of this exterior. So I'm actually gonna put that on every terrace here, every exposed part that we've got. You're gonna get the marble walk. I won't lie, I'm kind of neglecting the back right now. I sort of do that until I make sure that I know the front is working out, but I think it's time I can start to add my fencing back here. I wanna make sure I have my trim in all the right places, but when it comes to roofing pieces up here, it's actually kind of hard to do that. So what I'm gonna do is go in and grab a fence. I'm trying to get it to be more expensive, so I'm gonna use this one here, the fence for window shopping from Get to Work, and I'm just gonna trace my roofing. I'm gonna start there, keeping my grid on so that I can easily do this. And when you do that, it makes it so much easier to get your trim underneath the roof. Otherwise, it's not gonna do it because you need it to be a room. My roof hanging over at this point is not a room. So that's kind of why like adding the fence, closing it in really helps out. Like let's do it here. I'm gonna connect my roofing all the way over. I'm gonna connect it to the wall. And now the game thinks it's a room and we're easily able to add our trim. So I'm gonna be doing that all the way along here. I actually think it would be really pretty if we did some like big glass windows on this part. So I'm gonna bring those over here. This can be like a big open area inside the museum, like a chest room. I don't know, something, but that looks so pretty like that. One thing I also wanted to do was add in some of the wall sculptures like for the windows. So maybe I can go in with like one of these, put these outside of the windows. We're gonna add our trusty knights. I don't think I've added them like outside any doors yet in this entire series. I remember I added one as a sculpture, but in terms of like having them outside the door, this is the first time we are seeing our knights. Maybe I can put them up top too, like one there, one there. They are 8,000 simulations each, so we need to take advantage. Maybe on the top floor we can have a cafe or something,
something and then they could come out. I'll add some benches here. You could like come out, have your coffee. We'll get some like really expensive plants on the outside too. I haven't even added any wallpaper yet or landscaping like at all. So maybe for our wallpaper, I'm picturing either a white or we go completely opposite and match that like dark brown that we've been using. I actually recently discovered how much I love this base game brick. This color specifically, I really like this brown. So maybe I'll, we'll bring that in and see how it looks. Like an old brick looking museum. I'm just gonna put that all over. I kind of like that with the pops of white. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. It looks like old school meets like library vibes. We're gonna use an expensive fence here. We're gonna go in with, I think this one. And because this is kind of off center, just the way that the building is, I'm gonna go like with the building with this. I'm gonna bring my fencing this way. I'm not gonna cut off the stairs or anything. We'll bring it probably all the way to the back and around. And then actually, I think I'm also gonna be putting hedges around the outside. I've been doing it for all my other builds. I've been using these here and putting them around and then shrinking other bushes to like put plants in there. So let's do that. I think I'm gonna do some pink flowers. Okay, this turned out so freaking cool. This is what the outside is looking like. I think it's fall in my game right now. And that's why all the trees are looking like yellow. And I actually think the yellow with this looks so nice with like the blue roof and the orange around. I hope that we can finish this off in the same season but this is what it's looking like around the back I've got all my landscaping done I added some structures in like the the garden and everything like in there there's some things that I thought looked kind of cute maybe this is like an old ancestor or something I added a stone path from base game pretty much for like the entire build here it would be really nice to come out here and like walk around look at the garden <laughs> there's tons of seating in here too like every balcony has its own bench there's like some in there too there is definitely so much going on to this building like we're just gonna leave it as is so I think it's time to go in and start to figure out a layout we actually only ate up like 200k around that for that exterior so things are not looking good for us right now but okay I still do have to build a basement so let's go ahead and get our basement tool I'm going to trace around this like square right here we could actually probably make this a little bit bigger I might have to bring this down further so that I can actually expand extend it? What is happening? Like how deep do we have to go here? There we go. We can bring it out like that. Maybe like extend a little portion here or something. I think once I get a proper layout, we can kind of like adjust that. So let's do that right now. The first thing we have to do as always is figure out our stairs placement. So this is kind of tricky. And the reason why I don't like to do multiple floors is because of the freaking stairs, because like I have to keep in mind that once I put these stairs, I also have to add stairs going down and up. So there's a lot to take into account while we're doing this. So I'm gonna put this, maybe like I can shove this over here and maybe move these windows over slightly. So there's like a big gap in my wall that I can put that there. And then upstairs, I'm gonna have to adjust these so that they match the outside. I feel like the obvious thing to do here would be to like section this part off for some reason. So we can section that off. I still have to think about bathrooms too. So while I'm doing that, we're gonna keep the brain working for at least a little bit longer. And then when I get upstairs, I don't want there to be too much like I don't want to walk right into a wall when I get up here so maybe our stairs can kind of go like this so like you would walk up, you would still be able to see where the stairs would be to get up to the next floor. I feel like there's enough room to kind of like walk around that way. And then for the basement stairs, we're gonna go down here. I'm obviously using these marble ones, keeping it pricey. I feel like those could maybe be like beside this part. I'm not a huge fan of how it's like pushed up against that wall, but if it's a basement, you're kind of just going around that railing and down. I feel like it makes sense. I'm gonna add railings to all my stairs. I'm using these ones from Realm of Magic. I'm also gonna be using that matching fence that comes with it. And now we need to figure out bathrooms. And honestly, the only thing we really need here is a bathroom. Like we don't need a kitchen. We don't need any of that stuff. So I am gonna section things off for like specific kind of like fun little rooms still. So this over here, I was thinking could maybe be like a chess room. We can put multiple chess tables in there. Lots of light, prime focus. This can maybe be a smaller bathroom over to this side. We definitely are gonna have to have a bathroom on every floor. So that takes care of that. Upstairs, 
ones. Maybe we can do just like a couple here to the side. And then on the top floor, this is where the cafe is gonna be. So maybe we should do like a big room of bathrooms. Like maybe I should bring it out like this. And then I could do stalls on each side here. And my thought process is that if I like section these off like this, then I can put many $5,000 toilets in those rooms. I think I might actually do that right now. So I'm just gonna add my lighting in here. I'm gonna add the $5,000 toilets to each stall. Kind of like I've been doing this entire time. It's a strategy. It helps my mind know how much money I'm gonna have left if I like add these expensive things as we go. D doors, no. Gold toilets, yes. Okay, so there's that. We can do like sinks in the middle, okay. Cafe can be right here and we can leave this part open. And then down below, I'm gonna maybe bring this over a little bit so that I can add a room to the right. One thing I'm kind of thinking for the basement is I went to a museum <laughs> once. I'm just kidding. I've been to a few museums, but I've been to this museum before where it had these rooms in there. I think it might've been the Met, which by the way, I'm going to New York this week too. I'm gonna catch you guys up in a minute. I got a lot going on, but let's do like different rooms here and we can add furniture in them because I remember I was at a museum one time and it was modeled after these like really old vintage, but like expensive looking rooms. They were kind of like Victorian almost. So I was thinking that could be a way that we could use a whole bunch of expensive furniture without actually having like a living room. You'll see what I mean. Hold on. This is going to be our final area for bathrooms. So I'm just going to map this out. We're going to just add our stalls here. So we're going to have more than enough toilets and I'm going to add my lighting and then we can start to furnish. Okay. So here's my layout for the basement. We're going to go floor by floor again, starting here. And my idea, I was saying earlier that I wanted to do floor by floor. Each one is going to have like a different theme. This one, I want to do a royal theme. It's going to be modeled after like a royal family or a princess or a queen or something along those lines. And then each of these rooms, I've added all this old wallpaper are going to be modeled after like their castle rooms. So the idea, and this is a real thing, I swear you walk over and you literally look into the room and it's fully furnished and it looks really cool. That's the idea here. So let's start off. I think I'm going to start off with like, let's do a dining room. We'll do a big long table in here. And this is how we're going to get away with using like the really out there expensive looking furniture. Like we're going to be using these thousand dollar chairs for every single chair at this table. We're going to add a big paintings, obnoxiously expensive things. This over here, it's going to be cluttered with like all those expensive plates. We can do some shelving beside our painting. I have my debug on jungle adventure plates coming in hot. Maybe we could do like a jungle floor. I feel like that would be kind of cool. And these are the things that I'm talking about down here that I haven't used in any house. Obviously, it's really weird to be doing that. But these are like really expensive sets that come with Get Famous. And there's actually a freaking throne. Okay, hold on. We're going to shrink this and put that right there. We're also going to put this somewhere. This is what even is this? I don't even know a balcony. Maybe we could put that over here and like revolve stuff around that. I set my budget for 1.5, but depending on how this goes, maybe it could be two. I'm going to add these plates here, which are also expensive. $2,100 for those. Let's get a rug in here. So I mentioned that I saw these rooms before at the Met. I'm actually going to New York City this week and actually might be going to the Met. So this is pretty, pretty fitting if you ask me. Me and my mom are going just for a couple days. So this series is probably going to be put on hold until about midweek next week. We're literally just going there for like two days together and then coming back. But yeah, I have that going on this week, which I'm really excited about. Maybe when I go, I can take pictures of the rooms if that's allowed. I'm actually not sure. It's been a while. I can't remember if that's even allowed. But yeah, I have that going on this week. And I've mentioned a couple times throughout this series that we are trying to move. We have a showing on Wednesday, I think. And I'm not even going to be there for it. My boyfriend is going to go alone. I told him like, if you like it, put the offer in. Like, I don't need to be there. If you like it, just go for it. Like, we want to get out of here so freaking bad. But it's been so stressful not like thinking that I might not know what this place is going to look like. I literally might come back from my trip and just be moving. So um, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Like I said, there's kind of a lot going on in my real life right now. Just a lot of hectic stuff. So 
this series might be put on hold. It will be back at, by the end of the week though. It won't be long. So I've kind of moved on. I want to do a bedroom here. I'm going to add the expensive paintings on the wall with like dressers and stuff. And this is going to be the room for like the queen or the princess or whoever is in this royal family. Maybe our owner of this place, the builder slash owner of the museum was born into like a royal family or has like distant royal relatives or something. This museum in general could be like an old like family building that has been passed down throughout the years. That could be kind of fun. And then maybe since we're going in with all of these like prints, like these animal prints, maybe this could be kind of like what Willow's house looks like. Like just super extra like this. I feel like that would be kind of funny slash fun. I added the knee at the end for that. Let's do a fireplace over here. This one could be like a living room. So I'm going to get a fireplace there. We can do those really expensive like $3,000 chairs like these. Oh yeah, this leopard print is great. It's going to be like very bronzy, very gold down here. This family has quite the taste, let me tell you. But also like obviously I'm not that comfortable with this style. I don't build in it that often. So I feel like it would be kind of fun to do like an entire mansion in this weird eclectic style for Willow. We're going to get those flower pots right there. I think I'm going to add maybe another nightstand here. And then any of the like princess stuff, because there's like Princess Cordelia like lore somewhere in the Sims franchise. Like that's why we have this like Princess Cordelia head here. So I'm going to add a lot of that stuff. There are also weird things in here. Like where is it? There's also like one of her necklaces that was stolen or something. Oh yeah, this one stolen necklace of the late Duchess Pinky. Does anyone know about the lore of all this stuff? Like I don't honestly. I don't know if they've even expanded on it or if it's just like kind of a thing, but let's have two stolen necklaces from the Duchess. We're gonna need guards outside the door of every establishment here. Oh my God, this bookshelf is ridiculous, but 3000, I can't turn it down. We have to use this one. I'm gonna maybe put that on an angle there. I think, what was it? I think there's like a grandfather clock that's pretty expensive too. Yeah, like this one, 2400. I can put that in the corner there. We'll get our rug. This looks so ridiculous. And then maybe for this one over here, we could do a music room or something. I was thinking it'd be fun to do a class upstairs. So maybe if we have some sort of correlation with music here, it would make more sense. These pedestals here are a thousand each. So I'm going to put these in here. Maybe I can put like the violins on there. And I'm also going to bring these out here so I can add more like things on display. I'm going to make it pretty symmetrical to the other side. I still need like doors and everything for my bathroom. It's fine. There's also these really weird paintings with like random sims on them. So maybe this could be part of the royal family. Portrait of the Lady Mimsy. Okay, great. Like the lore be behind these people. Does that exist? Who's this guy? Lord Bernard, wait, Lord Bernard Escargot Shallot. Okay, you know, I don't know what's going on with them, but this girl, Willow Vine, she's going to be a descendant. She's going to be a descendant of these people. <laughs> Violin's coming in hot. We are under 900k, which is great. We are making really good progress with this basement. I'm going to put two of these violins here. We're going to get a microphone as well. And I mean, if you ever wanted to download this and open this room up so that your Sims could actually use it, you could easily do that. I want a jukebox there in the corner. I could maybe add some like plants hanging, a circle rug there to pull it all together and trophies, a few of them maybe. And then for this side here, I want to put couches down here, like seating if you wanted to come down and just like hang out, take a break from touring the museum. We can do that. So let's do one there. Maybe we can do the matching love seat right next to this part here. I'm going to delete all of these saucer lights for the most part. I'm going to replace everything with a warm lighting because the color tones of my furniture and everything, I feel like it's going to match the vibe a little bit better. So all of these must go. This is kind of perfect because we can put our doors to the bathrooms right in between here. I'm going to finally get my doors for every toilet. Some more nights, of course. If there's any reason to abuse them, it's going to be on this floor. So we're going to have multiple nights down here, more paintings of like important people. And after adding the final touches to this basement, let me show you how this turned out. This looks so freaking cool. This is the highlight of it, I think. Like down below, we've got this throne, which was from Get Famous, all the hanging plants. I added any portrait I could find of like important looking people over here. So we've got like this guy from Spooky Stuff. Over here in our throne, area, I added some weapons, some swords, some like medieval looking things. I've got this artifact, I think also from Get Famous, which is a royal artifact display. Not overly expensive, but at least we've got it. Over here, we have more, again, more portraits.
portraits, more like little things on display. And then this is what the other end looks like. And then for our rooms, they look so extra. This is what the piano room ended up looking like. We've got our jukebox. I added some clutter on the walls. Of course, our expensive clocks, speakers over there, a globe. And I found that these mirrors kind of opened the room up a little bit. So I've got those big mirrors on the side. And then going down to the next one, we have our living room. This is our super overwhelming living room with all the pattern going on. Our fireplace, our mirror, all our expensive items going on in here. We can continue on over here to our bedroom. Again, very extra, but I've got a whole bunch of clutter going on on the table, the notepad, the cologne, expensive dresser over to this side. And then down to our final room over here. This is our dining room, which is probably the most expensive one. It has like tea sets going on in here, all the expensive plates and decor, the paintings, of course. And the final thing that I did down here is the bathroom. So the bathroom also has a picture of whoever the heck that is. I added our sinks, our get to work, like sanitizer and hand towels, some ottomans in there and a painting, of course. And then in here, I just added some pictures of like more important people, ancestors or whatever. So this floor is looking pretty freaking crazy. This is floor one. 768K left. Let's go upstairs. We're going to start to do this room here, this floor. So I'm going to start over here. Let's do our chess room. So we're going to go get skills. We're going to grab the most expensive tables we can get, which I think are these ones, $1,000 each. And I'm going to fit as many as I can fit in here comfortably. We'll do like maybe four. I don't really know what the theme is going to be in here because I have a couple ideas, but they might not match up. So we'll start off with chess room there. And then in here, I kind of wanted to do like when you walk into a museum, there's normally going to be a big map or like an area describing what like each wing or each floor is looking like. So I was thinking we could do something like that right here. I just need to find something that kind of like looks like that. We could maybe get away with this here from uh, get together. There's a map on there at least. It's a little weird to me that it doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling though. So I'm going to raise it up using control nine on my keyboard. I'm just going to try and get it to go all the way up to the ceiling. And then I need to find something to put underneath there to like hold it up. Ooh, this thing. I have no idea what this is, but what if I put that underneath and we go with like an industrial kind of vibe? And then I'm kind of thinking, what if I did like an indoor garden? I'm going to grab a fence. Maybe we can use like this one here and I'm just going to do something small like around this, like maybe just like that. I can replace the flooring with some dirt. And then I was kind of thinking, I'm thinking back to the marketplace build that we did where I used a whole bunch of plants and made kind of like a custom, like custom flower arrangements and things like that. I think I might do that with this garden. I think this might be a good option here from dine out. So what I'm going to do is just trace around this with these and these are 150 each. So I'm just going to be literally tracing around this entire thing with these flowers. So literally just all around like this. And then on the inside, then we can go in and do some actual like plants, like the cheaper ones. Like we can maybe shrink these, put these in here. I'm going to go with like a yellow and pink. That's kind of what I've been doing for like this entire series when it comes to landscaping. And that looks cool. I think it ate up a lot of money. I can kind of like adjust and play around with it as we go. I like that idea for in here. And then I need something to put on display for the middle. I'm going to go back and look at those big sculptures from Get Famous, the big like set designs. I kind of want to do a ship. These are pretty pricey. Like if I can shrink it enough, I could do a big ship on display like right here. That is 4,500 for that. So if I can get this, that would be pretty awesome. This is like as small as I can get it. And then I could do the same thing that I did downstairs with those like ropes, the velvet rope, and I'm going to just enclose this entire thing. And then the other like theme that there are with these paintings, there's the people, but then there's also like boats and nautical themes. Cats and dogs kind of has a lot of these. So then I could use this right here. I could get like, I don't know, this guy or a lighthouse or something. We could do the same theme on the other side with someone like watching over you when you play chess. Even these ones have like nautical themes. So I could put this like over here. This could maybe be like a more painting oriented kind of area. I do also want to put like some seating though. So maybe I can go in with like some couches here. I could put one there, maybe one over near like the stairs. Like I can just put that right there. Maybe also some chairs right here, just a little extra seating. I think I could also get away with adding some like end tables with extra clutter on them. So maybe I'll go in and find these here from Dine Out. I'm going to go with, I think the white like marble for this. And then I can bring that to the front here. I could add something 
something going on there too. I think I want the knights to guard every exit too. Since we have the royalty wing, it would make sense if you walk in and you see them right away, get all excited about that. There's also like the treasure chest we've been using that would kind of go with this like pirate theme that we're doing. They even have like cannons. I don't think I've ever built a set from the Get Famous stuff before, but all of this weird stuff in here, like you could make something really cool out of this. These are those items that I would not be using unless I was building a museum. So it is kind of fun to like go outside the box and use these items. So we have the cannons there. I think there's also like a wheel somewhere. I can literally just add an extra like ship mast in here. <laughs> there's a mermaid treasure chest. This could kind of go in the back there. It even has a plaque, perfect. I'm gonna add some hanging plants in here to lighten it up a little bit, just so it doesn't look so museum-y. <laughs> also like some of these hanging around, just like some decor, you know? Yeah, there is a lot of this stuff. This is actually perfect. Since our chest room has so much light, I feel like I need to add some more plants in here. I don't want it to be like too squishy either, so I'm gonna space it out. And then maybe I can put something on top of here, like one more nautical thing before we move on. I mean, we also have this, Captain Chaz McFreeling's Gallon. <laughs> that can go in here. Maybe we'll just put like a boat in here, bring it all together. And for now, I feel like I'm gonna leave this floor as is. There's a lot going on in here. At least we stuck to a theme for this. I might come back if I have a little bit more money left over at the end, but so far, this is what we got. I do still have a bathroom area over here, which I kind of just punched out some more like stalls. So I'm gonna add some more toilets. So we got our toilets, we got our sink in there. I'm not done with that bathroom. We're gonna come back and furnish it once we're done with the next floor, which I think is going to be a jungle floor. So this one, we're gonna do a jungle theme here, but over here, keeping with like the music room theme that we had downstairs, I kind of want to do a music room. And the idea here is it's going to be like a classroom. So I'm gonna get some chairs. We're gonna like lay it all out around. And it's kind of nice because like I was looking at pictures of music rooms because I've never unfortunately taken any music classes, which sucks, but they tend to kind of like go around. So this chair is actually new from The Sims 4 base game and it's pretty pricey too. So this is gonna work out. I'm gonna put four chairs along there, maybe two here and two on this side. And then this is gonna be a great excuse to use multiple violins because each like person in the class could like have their own. So that's how we're gonna swing having like multiple of these. I could also do like a teacher one over here. And then instead of doing like a big chalkboard, we could do a TV, like one big monolith TV worth 10,000 that we've been using so much in this series. But then I also wanna put some chalkboards. I'm gonna put like some small ones over here maybe, like maybe two of those right there. And then I just need like a desk. Let's do more chairs along the front cause why not? I'm sure they could move them around if necessary. You get a violin and you, ooh, 450. Okay, that was, this was a good idea. The thing here that we can also kind of add is there are a lot of paintings of music in this game. Like down here, we've got this one. We can maybe shrink and put in here. 1500 for these. I'm gonna put a few. I think they have different swatches. Oh yeah, there's this one. These are the trio, I guess. Then we also have like these jazz pictures there. I think there's like a piano one somewhere. Yeah, like this one we can put over here. This one, I guess, can go like in the corner. I want to make it look a little bit better. I'm gonna add in some fairy lights just like around to add to the mood. And then maybe I should have like a desk for like a teacher, but a small one because I don't have a whole lot of room. Like we could go in with this one here and just kind of like put that over in the corner with like another chair. And then one more violin for the teacher and that is gonna be that. It's kind of cool because we also managed to get some color in here with those like purple paintings. We could also add some speakers in here. These can eat up a little bit of money as well. I think that looks kind of cool so far. And then over here, this is gonna be the jungle wing. We know Jungle Adventure has like ridiculously expensive debug items. So I'm gonna open up Jungle Adventure debug and we're gonna see what we can work with here. These are 1500 each. So let's put a couple of these. They have different swatches that we can use. I feel like these are actually like kind of dangerous. So maybe don't let your Sims interact with these, but we can do like two on that side, two over on this side. These things are actually really cool. They're not too expensive, but I could put like some of these on the wall. Same as these, these aren't too expensive, but I feel like they look kind of cool. They fit the theme. We actually also have these pedestals, which are a thousand each as 
well. So I could put like something on there. Ooh, and then this 2000 for this cabinet, which I'm pretty sure is meant to put like artifacts in, which means we have a home for all of our frogs, our really expensive frogs. Like these can go in here and look at that money going down. Oh my God, yes, we are getting close. We are under 300K, this is great. The final floor is gonna be our cafe too. So I'm excited to get to that. I think upstairs is gonna be like a city theme, which obviously we're gonna get to in a second, but there are some get famous like buildings that are fake, but I feel like it would be really cool if we put those upstairs in the cafe. But let's finish off this floor first. I'm gonna put all of these artifacts up here. Like that can go, all of these things. Oh, all these little crystals too. These aren't too expensive, but I feel like they're gonna add some color, make this look really pretty. Oh, let's do the voodoo dolls too. Definitely, we're gonna put a whole bunch of these. This is gonna be kind of scary. And then I think it would also be kind of fun to like really lean into the jungle theme and add like some of this stuff. Like I love it when you go to a museum or something and they go all out like this. Like they design it, they've got all the different like themed items hanging around. So like, where did that go? That literally just disappeared. So if I add these and we really go, where does it keep going? What is happening? Maybe this one will wanna stay and stick around? Okay, so our jungle floor ended up being really expensive. This is what it's looking like. I've got all the stuff here on display. We've got the crystals, some gold artifacts that could have been found. I've got our trunks on display as well. I added some crystals around. I thought the color kind of looked pretty in here. All the hanging like vines as curtains I thought looked cool. And then since I found a whole bunch of crystal stuff, I ended up putting these realm of magic like brooms on the wall. I thought it would be kind of cool if they were like also found. Like this could be like a, an archeology span floor where they just like found all this stuff or like dug it all up. So this is what this floor is looking like. Very expensive after all was said and done. Like all these little things have added up in here for sure. And now I'm only left with 45K for the floor upstairs. I added like a couple more guitars in here. Our bathrooms over here are complete too. In this one, I added just like single bathrooms. There's a couch there going on. And I did make some changes to the downstairs as well. I added and changed a few of the things that I had on display. The front is looking a little bit different too. Just some extra little things that I added on there. The bathrooms have like paintings and stuff. I could probably still add some like plants in here. The bathrooms are a little, a little bland. But up we go to the final floor. We can make this bathroom look really cool. This whole floor is gonna be, I think, one of the coolest ones. So what I wanna do is I wanna go and get those Get Famous sculptures. I wanna use all of these like buildings here they use for sets and I'm just gonna shrink them and make this the theme of our cafe. So the idea here is it's gonna be like a little like neighborhood set kind of. We can even change like the swatches of these. We can bring in like shorter ones. I think this one's a little smaller so we can save that window there. And then I was also thinking we could have this here. So that's gonna go right in front of those little townhouses. I think there are also new tables in here. These ones are so expensive. I had no idea. These are brand new from the new like drop that we got for this Sims 4 base game. $1,300 for those, okay. I'll use that there. We can put one right here. I'm not gonna add too much seating. There's still like the benches outside. There's seating like all over this place that people could go to. I kind of want to carve out a spot here. So I shrunk those ones even smaller. It's okay if this looks like comically little. It could be like a little village. Then we could add actual like chalkboard menus. Like I could go in there with this here. Maybe I can fit another one right underneath as well. Like I could change up the swatches. We need a fairy lights in this room for sure. So I'm gonna be going in with some of these in the background. We're gonna add this garbage here from City Living so it looks like a street garbage. And then if I could even fit them like going along this side too, that would be great. Like if I could put them on here and just like shrink them and maybe we do one more like in the corner in the back here. 2,400 left. We are getting so close to finishing this. Let's do some of these like collector magazine things. I feel like this floor is maybe more like hip looking so we can get away with adding like this stuff. I put another building on that side. I can probably get away with adding like a sink in here. I still have to do that entire bathroom too. So we can go in there with one of these chandeliers, which I'm gonna shrink. Let's do a double sink moment. I can probably get away with adding some mirrors right above those ones there, but I need to make sure that I don't like mess up my doors. I could probably put like a towel or something in the middle. This one here from Get Famous is pretty pricey. We can put that like right in the center. Ooh, that rug actually looks pretty cool in here. So I can get away with adding that. I'm gonna add these to each stall. These are those like wall lights that I've been using this entire time. Oh, we're 
under 10k. Okay, what else can I get in here? Literally anything at this point. Like I've been putting cameras and stuff at the exit. I have 2,800 left. The problem with these challenges is like, I feel like I'm done. Like I feel like I'm done. I like it. I want to leave it, but I can't because I need to keep spending this money. So let's do maybe some extra like lighting in here. Like these look kind of cool, like old bar lights. This is $1,100. I'm going to try and like shrink this and put it in the corner here. Oh, you know what we can do? We can add this clock here to get it right down to $0. 1,200 and we are done. Oh my goodness. Every single lot that we finish here is going to feel like such a huge win, but this is such a cool cafe. This is the second like themed cafe we have in this whole world. We have the greenhouse cafe and this one. And I feel like this looks so cool with like the city in the background, the miniature city look. It also has like a little bit of like a hip vibe. I really like this. I think this is so cool, especially from like this angle down here. So you can really see like the buildings. Our jungle floor down below with our music classroom. We have our nautical themed first floor with our map and everything. And then down below, we have our royal floor. This is crazy. This is such a cool build. I will be putting this on the gallery with the other ones under Sydney Macarena if you want to download it. This is it again from the outside. And this is expanding Willow Vine's inventory of very expensive builds in The Sims 4 to two community lots in this place. So let me know what you guys want me to build next. I have four more lots left in this entire build series. Again, I'm going to be away. So this is going to pick up again, probably near the end of the week. I hope you all have a lovely time this week. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.